great opportunity to bring people together, help share their stories. I think storytelling has been a big part in terms of BIM Show Live. I think it's also helped in terms of just people to move their journey every year, moving the dial in terms of how people are practically applying technologies, sharing experience as well. May and I are here to launch the Winfield Rock Report. I see the BIM Show Live as the BIM conference of the year. Um, so we actually timed our report to be launched today here this afternoon. I think it's a really meeting of the, all the industry leaders in BIM and it enables people to come and learn so much from a broad range of things uh, and that's why we we brought our report here. This is my first time at the uh, the BIM show live. Uh, I really like the atmosphere. It's a really cool crowd and it's a very diverse crowd as well. There's a very sharing atmosphere. People are sharing knowledge and debating and, and like we have a common goal here. We tend to have the, the best most relevant content um, yeah, and the right people turn up and good conversations happen. Um, so it's, it's definitely sort of a learning experience and a bit of knowledge exchange. I've been part of the UK BIM community from the very beginning and um, it's been a, a, an amazing um, evolution and this is one of the kind of key events that have supported that evolution in BIM. I haven't spent much time in Newcastle but it's great to be kind of in the hub of activity for BIM with obviously a lot of the kind of innovative companies in, um, in this region of, of the UK. But also it's a nice intimate event as well. It's not too large. Again, you know, a lot of the BIM community are here supporting and sharing their knowledge so it's great to be here. Working in London, it means I actually truly get away from the office, which is quite nice. And I think being up here, you will get people, the people who come here are the people who genuinely want to be here and, and take an interest. The thing is the chance to meet people, the chance to understand uh, directly from their words how they are contributing to the evolution of uh, the construction industry. And uh, I think it's the perfect size uh, for an event where you really want to get in touch with others and want to start possibly possible collaboration. Also, uh, what is uh, extremely nice is the environment. The city of Newcastle is, uh, even if it's snowing, uh, uh, give us a very warm reception. So, I mean, it's a pleasure to be here. feels like this is a time to jump to the next five years. It's been like a, a good sort of um, stop to where we are now and say, right, what's next? And I think that's been really good. And I think people are you know, ready for the next challenge, the next five years that we've uh, got to look at in the industry. We had an inspiration day the day before, and that's been fantastic. And they're our future, particularly the primary school kids were absolutely fantastic. I was inspired by them. So that's my big takeaway. There's a lot of young people who want to do something in the uh, built environment construction sector now. So uh, yeah. There's a good future ahead.